Dolls. Today Dee Dee's gonna cook out of the Joanna Gaines cookbook, Magnolia Kitchen. And we're gonna do something different. It's called Friendsgiving. If you wanna take a screenshot of that recipe, you're gonna love it. It's easy and delicious. And we'll get started. Okay dolls, here we're gonna start. We got one baguette cut into little pieces. It equals about six cups. You wanna put it, that in the oven about 175, let it dry out for an hour or so. Then we got seven tablespoons of unsalted butter, which is about a stick. One minced yellow onion. There you go. Right here, a half a cup of celery. One garlic clove mixed, one large one. Two tablespoons of all-purpose flour. Now over here we have a teaspoon of garlic, teaspoon of kosher salt, and a teaspoon, half a teaspoon of freshly ground black pepper. Here we have a, a cup and a half of heavy cream. Five cups of shredded chicken. You can either use a rotisserie chicken or you can cook chicken breast. I did Joanna Gaines way. I used the rotisserie chicken and cut it up. One cup of sour cream, which is right over there. We get two cups of chicken broth. You can either make your own. I use the store bought. Right here, three green onions chopped up nicely. Fresh parsley for garnish. It's optional, but I like parsley. Okay, and usually Joanna Gaines makes her own cranberry sauce. Believe it or not, I could not find fresh cranberries in the grocery store. So we're going to use the store-bought one, and we're going to doctor it up. And I'm going to make some mashed potatoes. So you guys all know how to make mashed potatoes. So boil some potatoes and we'll mash them. Okay, we're ready to get started. Okay, dolls, now you're going to put about half of the butter, which is about three tablespoons, in a frying pan. Melt it nice. Get it all melted. About medium-high heat. What we're doing here is we're making a little gravy. It's going to be so good. And I got my potatoes here cooking for mashies. Okay, so in here now we're going to add the onion. And the celery. So it needs about two to three minutes. Get it all nice translucent. Okay, we're gonna let this cook and get nice and translucent, and then we'll add the rest of the stuff. Okay, here's our onions, they're nice and translucent, celery soft. Now we're going to add the garlic, the fresh garlic, okay. That's getting very fragrant. Okay, here we go. This is a hit with the kids, everything, everything. You're going to be surprised. Now we're going to add the garlic powder, the pepper, and the salt. Put that in there, okay. Get it all nice. Let them all get to know each other. Now, important, we're going to add the flour. Do not let this flour burn, okay? We've got to do it really quick here. It's very cold here today. Oh, this weather. Can't figure it out. Dee Dee's going to need a vacay. Don't worry, when Dee Dee goes on vacay, I'll take you with me. Okay, now we're going to add a heavy whipping cream. So you're gonna need a whisk for this. Lower your flame really low. Add a little at a time. This is gonna make our gravy, okay? We don't want any lumps. I know you're all seeing heavy cream, but you know what, you're gonna make a gravy. You only live once. It's not like we're eating this every day. And I'm glad this is with chicken because Dee Dee's not crazy about turkey. Look at that.
Got it all there, okay? I'm gonna leave this on simmer, very low, as low as you can get your stove, okay? So the gravy thickens. Okay. And if anybody knows me, I gotta take a little taste. Don't serve anything I wouldn't eat, okay? Let me just take a little taste. Hmm, that's actually very good. Okay. Okay, it's on low. Now we're gonna go over and we're gonna start layering over here, okay? Okay, we got our gravy simmering very low. Here I have a 9 by 13, could be a 9 by 12. I didn't measure it. Sprayed it nice. I'm going to layer my chicken out on the bottom. Okay, nice layer. Okay, now that we layer the chicken, we are going to put the sour cream on there. Oh, I should have probably dolloped it because you got to spread it. I think I can spread it just fine. So what do you all think? You get the COVID shot? Got my last one. That's why I'm going to go on vacay. I'm going to take my daughter. She needs a little vacation. My mother. But we'll see. I really did want to go to Hawaii, but I don't think I can be all that time with a mask. It's always been on my bucket list, Hawaii. I'm trying to get this chicken spread evenly. Okay, we got that, right? So now the next thing, we spread the sour cream. Now we are going to, I'm, I'm looking at this, pour the cream sauce. Okay, here goes. I call it a gravy, they say it's a cream sauce. Oh, look at that. Mm, mm, mm. Wow, that smells delicious. Part of the Portuguese, Portuguese in me wants to add a little paprika, but can't do that. I'm following the recipe. Now we're going to sprinkle the bread pieces over the top. So it said one baguette. You know Dee Dee, right? I said one baguette is not going to be enough. I bought two. One was enough. But I'll have the other one. I'll do something with it tomorrow. Take a nice big hunk of cheese and stick it in there. Just what I need for my thighs, right? Okay, so we got that. So now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna melt the butter and I'm gonna add it to the chicken broth and that's gonna go over the top, okay? Let me melt the butter. I'm gonna take the remaining butter, put it into the chicken broth. It's almost like a science project. Okay, we do that. Okay, now we're going to pour this evenly as you can over the top. There you go. I haven't tasted this, okay? It's gotten, oh, that little sucker, it's gotten good reviews. Next I'm going to, I'm not a baker. These little suckers get stuck in there. So, she's gotten good reviews, and it's supposedly her biscuits are very good. I might try that next. We're going to see how this goes, if we like it. Okay, so now this is going to go in a 325 degree oven, uncovered, for about a half an hour. And then, of that half an hour, the last three minutes, you're going to put it on broil. Watch when you put it on broil, because that scares the living, living daylights out of me if it burns. But we'll keep an eye on it. Okay, dolls? Off we go to the oven. And it goes down right into the oven. Can you see it? There it is. I'm gonna give it a half hour. A lot. Okay, dolls, here you go. Your friend's Thanksgiving casserole. 
I made some mashed potatoes. You know me, I add a little color to them, a little smoked paprika. And this is store-bought cranberry sauce. Hey, you want to cheat your people, add a little orange rind to it. Okay? And I got some gravy, and we're all set. Hey, dolls, I'll see you soon. I think next week, it's going to be a surprise what I make. It's going to be one big surprise. Hey, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, like my video, and share it to all your friends. Make it worth it for Dee Dee. Love you, dolls.